Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. I wanted to share something um, that I feel is very encouraging. And um, it is a confirmation, confirmations that I received from the Lord. Um, and uh, pertaining to the video I made of the white buffalo a couple of days ago. So... Um, I woke up to the sound of the Lord's voice this morning. You know, um, he said, feed my sheep. And I'm like, oh, okay, Lord. You know, I was in a deep sleep. I was knocked out. And I was really struggling trying to get my eyes open, you know. <laughs> so, you know, eventually I did. And I rolled over and I grabbed my phone. And it was like the time popped out at me. And it was 8 o'clock. And I'm like, whoa, because I've been seeing eights ever since I made that video. I've been seeing the number eight. If you go back and look at this video of the white buffalo, you will see that the time on the video is exactly eight minutes. Okay. And so after I saw eight o'clock on my phone, you know, I just turned to look at my TV because, you know, I, I had it on and, um, the, you know, the wallpaper, it's like a, a, a slideshow of wallpapers. And so I look at the, the TV and the time eight o'clock popped out at me and I'm like, okay, it's almost like the Lord is like, see, you know, look it, it's, an, it's another eight. And um, then I look at the wallpaper and the wallpaper is a picture of this huge moon. It's a huge moon. And it was above these mountains, these um, snow-capped mountains. And I'm like, whoa, it was, you know, a beautiful picture. But it's just really like the moon and then the time, eight o'clock, you know, just the number eight itself, you know, really like jumped out at me. And I'm like, whoa, I said, you know, this is crazy. <laughs> I keep seeing all these eights. And so then I remembered, like, wait a minute. You know, the Lord gave me this vision of a plastic purple fish. So before I get to that, let me let me let me just tell you what the number eight means. All right. The number eight is translated as um, new beginnings or commencement, and uh, which is a beginning or start. And then it also means new man, like get your spiritual body, okay? So I thought that was awesome. I'm like, God is good, okay? And he is. So um, I had this vision and the vision was of this plastic, purple fish like you know how the kids have uh those plastic easter eggs you can snap them apart or you can put them back together well the purple the fish was like two halves there was two halves to that fish and i saw the two halves being put together but i saw a piece of the tail which is like the piece of the puzzle missing and i'm like oh i'm like it's missing a piece but then all of a sudden I saw like that piece floating, you know, and then going into place. So after that, I'm thinking like, wow, like, what is that? Like, what does that mean? So, you know, I, I had to ask the Holy Spirit, you know, to help me figure this out. And I came to the conclusion, an epiphany that and and i confirmed that you know through research too a little read just a little research you know I, I ain't trying to go that deep but that jesus represents that fish okay and the color purple means royalty and then the fact that that particular piece, the piece of that tail was missing. It was as if, okay, that fish, you know, the fish being incomplete, that 
you know, um, the fish being Jesus and us being the body of Christ, that we weren't complete until that piece of the tail snapped into place. You guys following me? So the fish came together, tail snapped into place, it became complete. The body of Christ complete. The bride of Christ complete. The bride of Christ ready, okay? This is what I received in my spirit. And you can take it to the Lord. You can take it to the Lord and ask him to confirm what I had just said, what I just said, okay? But this is what I feel in my spirit as I felt in the video of the white buffalo and um, what I felt that he was showing me this morning as well. He's letting me know, again, he's confirming, yes, the bride is ready. And yes, ah, any day, any time. Now, trust and believe, I'm not saying that Jesus is coming tonight. I'm not saying that he's coming tomorrow. But we already know that he can come at any time. But he's letting me know that the bride is ready. Okay? Jesus is coming. No, Jesus is here. And it's only a matter of time before we will be snatched out of here. Okay? So, you guys, um, again, I said take it to the Lord. And I love you. And um, continue to pray for one another. Um, continue to be watchful. Um, continue to seek the Lord. Continue to... Um, Pray in truth and in spirit. Continue to um, pray for the lost. Continue to pray um, for the homeless. Pray for this world. Pray for um, our brothers and sisters in Christ overseas that are losing their lives. Um, just because they love the Lord. Um, pray for those who are backslidden. Pray for our friends and families, strangers. Just pray for everyone. Pray that um, many more um, have that desire to come to Christ, you know, to give their life to Christ, to turn away from the world, to repent of their sins. And if any of you out there do not have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, please seek him, seek him today. He is waiting for you with open arms. He loves you. He loves you. Okay. Believe that he loves you and I love you. So stay encouraged, stay encouraged, everyone. You know, the king of kings, he's about to come and get his children, all right? I love you guys, and I'll see you all soon. I pray that we all be found worthy.